we were concerned as conservatives, you're going to have a far left uh, regime in power that is going to try to round up conservatives, confiscate guns, put people in, in detention camps. in detention centers and so forth. You know what? Th this is turning out to be Haman's gallows. What they plan for the church, for conservatives, for patriots, what they planned is going to be flipped around on them. Mm. There's a re Republican president in the White House right now who's brought the military in. You know who's going to get rounded up? The, the left. The communists. The people who are burning down the country. That's who's going to get rounded up. This thing is completely flipped on them. And I have to think that privately, last night, a lot of them were starting to become afraid. I'm talking not the thugs in the street. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about the leaders, the ones who know that their names are linked to these organizations, secretly linked, that their bank accounts, the flow of money, the meetings, the, the, the trail of emails, text messages, that if the federal government comes in and begins a serious investigation, it's going to lead to some very powerful people, and the U.S. government is going to seize their bank accounts, seize their assets, and put some of these people in prison. Mm. That's where this is going right now. If President Trump does not let up, if Attorney General Barr stays behind him, if the military stays with the president, if the U.S. military gets involved in this insurrection in the terms of finding who is carrying it out, right. the moment they shoot a soldier, the, the game changes. The game changes, doesn't it? The moment they kill American troops in the streets, this game changes completely because now the military is going to hunt them down. And they truly become the enemy of the people. That's right. This thing's going to backfire on them. And I have to believe that there are people inside these far left groups right now who are very scared today that they may be outed as part of a communist underground in this country. It's one thing to have communist beliefs. I wouldn't support putting people in, in jail for having communist beliefs. But when you organize to overthrow the government of the United States and to implement a communist revolution and, and you are burning buildings and killing people, you are now an enemy of the country. Using yes. violence to enforce your political beliefs right. is terrorism. That's right. And they have to be outed, they have to be hunted down, they have to be, um, they have to be given a trial. And that trial could be a military trial. You realize this, yes. they could be given a military trial. Once you're declared a terrorist organization, you don't have constitutional rights. You're akin to the people we have. Where, do, where are you taken to? Guantanamo. You may see people in these far left organizations transported to Guantanamo and waterboarded to confess who's funding the organizations. I know my enemies watch me. And I hope I hope you I hope you soiled your pants. I hope you're scared right now because the pendulum is swinging. You've been, you've been ripping this country apart for decades. You've been harassing God-fearing men and women, smearing people's names and reputations, fomenting sedition and revolution, poisoning the minds of children, defiling people's souls, and now, you're on the verge of being outed.